So we're gonna take a look at this video how we can use Desmos to do some sinusoidal regression. So what that means is we're gonna get some data and we're gonna plot it and we're going to get the uh, graphing calculator software to give us an equation, a sinusoidal equation um, that best fits our, our data. So what what data we're gonna use is I've, I've snagged the uh, climate data for it's actually Vancouver Harbor and we're gonna we're gonna graph the average high temperature here so I'm gonna enter this data in here into uh, Desmos the average high we won't worry about the other things here we're just gonna do the average high so how we do that is we go to add an item and we're gonna add a table and it automatically creates our, our an X1 and a Y1 and we're gonna do the 12 months here so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10, 11, 12. So I've entered the 12, the 12 months that we have, and now I've got to enter this data here. So we're doing average high. So 6, 8, 8, 4, 10, 6. 6, 8, 8, 4, 10, 6. And 13 and a half, 16.8. 13.5, 16.8. June 1926 22 22.3 I think was July or August and then 19 13.9 and November and December 9 3 and 6 8 9 3 and 6 8 okay so We've got all of our points entered. Now I can't really see them. Okay, so there we are. We've got our, our scale. So here's the temperature profile, and uh, one would be here, January, February, March, April, up to July and August, and then cooling back off towards December. So it kind of does look sinusoidal. It's got kind of that, that um, wave to it. So we're going to get Desmos to give us the equation that best fits those points. So we've got a way of modeling this. So what we're going to do is we're going to go y1 because we're going to take our y values. Um, that tells us that there's 12 elements in our, in our in the list. So it's looking back at this data here. And then just underneath your escape button on your computer, um, there's this little squiggly, squiggly line. Um, that's going to tell us to do some regression and now we just have to enter the equation so a sine bracket B bracket and then x1 for uh, our x values minus C close the brackets plus D has now put in here an equation that best represents our, our data and you can see it's not bad it's it's quite close here a little bit off here but it's it's done a pretty decent job of approximate the approximated the temperature of, of Vancouver throughout throughout the year and so in in the information down below here um, I think we talked about this before the closer this number is to one the better the approximation it is so it's pretty close 0.9792 pretty close to one and then these would be the values for a so what our equation would be y is approximately negative 7.58017 sine of b that number would be 0.553966 and then x would be your your months minus c so minus minus so that basically that's x plus 80.8133 and then plus d moved up 14.4798 so there's there's uh, there's our equation and so we would be able to do things in that equation for instance if I said you know what would what would the temperature be at uh, 3.2 months we could put 3.2 in for X and we could put these other values in a B C D and then use our calculator and figure out what the approximate temperature is but if we wanted to know what it was at 3.2 months and we had our graph here we could just create another equation and just say, hey, let's make x 3.2. Well, 
We want to know what the temperature is at 3.2 months. So it'll draw a vertical line on our graph at 3.2 months. And we'll be able to come right in here and see where these graphs intersect. And we can see that 3.2 months is 10.3 degrees Celsius. So that's how we can use Desmos um, to plot some data using a table. So add and then create a table. Enter your information in there and then go y1 is approximately and then this would be our equation for a sinusoidal regression a sine b x1 minus c in brackets plus d um, and then it'll tell us what a b c and d are and then we can put various values in for x and into our calculator or into desmos and uh, it will calculate our y values for us so that's how you can do some sinusoidal regression using Desmos.